go see this show. Go run. Go see this show. It, it's absolutely amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Oh my god. I, 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 I can't even say. Alright, so, where do I begin? Uh, I'm not even gonna bother to tell you the premise. It's so crazy. It's just a... It's basically the love boat in the 30s as a musical. That's basically it. It's a ship with all these crazy people on it. And the crew isn't as meddling as on the love boat. But anyway, okay, I'm gonna do talk about the cast and the appearance. John McMartin was... Okay. okay, at the beginning I thought he was gonna be horrible because he was kind of slurring his words. Now, I knew he was playing a drunk, but... He uh, he was slurring words, his, uh, slurring his words a little too much, but other than that, he got much much better as the show went on. That was the case with a lot of like the older stars in the show, just kept getting better and better. Uh, B Billy Crocker, Colin Donnell, so surprised. I thought I wasn't expecting that much from him. Oh my god, he he's a star in the making. This this guy is gonna be huge. I'm saying it now. This guy is amazing. Incredible. I'm so glad he's doing Merrily We Roll Along and Encores now. I think he's going to be incredible. Uh, just such a great actor, such a great singer. Uh, but doesn't get much better than Sutton Foster. I have come to the conclusion that Sutton Foster is the perfect human specimen. That's all I'm going to say. No, uh, it, flawless. Flawless performance. Her performance alone... It should be reason enough to see this show. I mean, there are some other... She definitely wasn't my favorite performance. I'll get to my favorite performance later. But she was definitely incredible. She was just incredible. Uh, Walter Charles as the captain was good. Didn't have that much... His part wasn't as meaty as others. But he was good. He has a good voice. Robert Creighton as the purser. Hysterical. I he looks so much like like George Costanza on Seinfeld. Jason Alexander is George Costanza. That's that's like the first thought I had when he came on, and he was so good. And he's also very nice. I got his autograph at the stage door. He was one of the few people whose autograph I got because it was I was at the matinee. Uh, he was one of the few autographs I got. Uh, the uh, the two Asians, Andrew Chow and Raymond J. Lee, were great. Uh, didn't have that. They, they, their part wasn't that meany. Like, like the Asians in Thoroughly Modern Millie, they had a substantial role. These guys didn't have that substantial role. Uh, Erin Mackey is Hope. She has an amazing voice. I just wish that her part was funnier. I kind of, she kind of lacked any comedy in her role. And it wasn't Erin Mackey's fault. I mean, she's played Glidner. She's gotta be funny. But, uh, I just wish that the authors had beefed her up, because I know they've revised this show. Uh, her, Mrs. Evangeline Harker was played by the, um, the brilliant Kelly Bishop. Uh, incredible, legendary, legend, legendary performer. Uh, it was a thrill to see her live, and she was really good. She got, just like John McMartin, she got better as the show went on. At first, she wasn't that great. Uh, Adam Godley. At my favorite performance, overall. He never had a dull moment on stage. He was just standing, he was just moving around. He has the greatest physicality of, like, any, any performer I've ever seen. Just incredible. I think he may blow, uh, Stephen Colbert and Martha Plimpton out of the water. He may blow them out of the water. And that, and you know how I was praising them. But he was just incredible. Gypsy and me. Oh my god. Oh my god. When he, greatest, I think the greatest theatrical moment I've ever seen was when he swings out on that rope at the end. Just incredible. That him and Sutton Foster, I want them to actually get married. I want Sutton Foster to dump Bobby Cannavale and dump, and, and marry Adam Godley. Uh, Jessica Stone. Oh my god. Another incredible performance. She was so funny. The audience just ate her up. She was, she got, she probably got the, next to Adam Godley, the biggest laughs in the show. Oh my god, I loved her. Loved her. And she's married to Christopher Fitzgerald, who was in Wicked with the next person I'm about to mention. 
Joel Gray. This was, I saw him in this show eight years to the day that I had seen him in Wicked. Even better. Even better in his old age. Now, my one problem with him is that he had, like, this New York accent that every once in a while it, he would slip out of it. He would just go into his normal voice. But that really didn't matter because it was Joel Gray. His Be Like the Bluebird, oh, my God, such so incredible. And and then friendship. Now at the beginning of the show, the audience was pretty dull. Like the only people that got like, entrance applause were Sun Foster and Joel Gray, and it, they were very dull entrance applause. Even though I clapped, I clapped for a couple people. I clapped for John McMartin as well, and I clapped when when the curtain rose and John McMartin was there in the bar, and then when uh, Adam Godley, Aaron Mackey, and Kelly Bishop came in through the audience, I clapped for them, but no one else did. Um. But f friendship was the point where the audience really got into it. And from that point on, they were it was a great audience. But friendship, it was just incredible. I've seen it a couple times on YouTube, them doing it. And every time they do it, it's different. Something, something is different. And it's just so funny. It's so fresh. Those two are just incredible. And you can tell, he almost had her cracking up. You could tell. And she, and he just had that devilish look on, like, I got you. Uh, some other great, great musical moments. Uh, the dancing was incredible, first of all. Anything Goes, of course, I was expecting it to be incredible, the title number. Some was dancing her, but took us off. Uh, but, uh, then, Blow Gabriel Blow. Blow, Gabriel Blow, incredible. Because that one had everyone. Anything Goes was just Sudden Foster, Joel Grey, Colin Donnell, and the dancers. That Blow, Gabriel Blow was everyone. All the leads, all the dancers, and Sudden. Sudden was, Sudden had the audience in the palm of her hand for that one. She, she was just incredible. And the notes that she, that woman can hit. Oh my god. I also love, oh, I love the opening number. Not really, no, it's not really the opening number, but it's the, after I get a kick out of you, it's the, there's no cure like travel. And the, uh, uh, Bon Voyage, it, that's a great moment. Also, what's another one? Gypsy and Me was probably my favorite, though. Gypsy and Me. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I can't say anything else. But, uh, just, just incredible, incredible show. Sets. I, I just want to say, best set design I've ever seen. Best set design. Beautiful sets. Costumes were great, lighting was great, but the sets. I, got, my, that was my favorite design aspect, the sets. And, uh, Kathleen Marshall did a brilliant job directing this. Everyone did a brilliant job directing this. It was incredible. Go run, see this Job. Now, Kelly Bishop and Adam Godley are unfortunately not in it anymore. They were replaced by Robert Petkoff and Julie Halston, who I'm sure will be good, but especially Julie Halston because I love her. But, and I like Robert Petkoff as well, but Adam Godley. Adam Godley, please come back to Broadway. Please. And anything. Just in greatest performance ever. That I've ever seen. It may be. Now, it, no. Well, maybe Bernadette Peters. But him, him and Bernadette Peters in a show together. You know, that would be that would be an interesting evening of theater. Okay, now I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, I, I'm gonna go. Now.